The Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway was owned and operated by the Great Eastern Rail and the Midland and Great Northern Joint Railway and it was opened in two stages from North Walsham to Munsley in 1898 and then it carried on via Trimmingham, Overstrand and Cromer in August 1906 and in the first video we took a look at the section from East Runt and Cromer on towards Trimmingham and this time I'm going to pick it up in the opposite direction from where it begins at North Walsham on towards Munsley and then onto the newer section of line just briefly back towards Trimmingham. So right now we've got to start around about half a mile from where the former North Walsham train station was and we'll pick up the route and take a look see what it holds. Okay you're joining me down here above the track bed. I'm still on an old bridge look. Straight away look our track bed is right below us. We're going to give you a bit of an insight as to where we are so the b1145 is just there so our walk today is between four and five miles it's about four miles to munsley but i need to get as far as trimmingham to meet up where i previously got to where did east runton cromer overstrand and that beautiful bridge at trimmingham so there is that deep cutting there's a nice stairway down there which could have been an original track access for rail workers we're going to go that way and Napton and Paston Station is our first destination. So who knows what we'll find en route. I'm going to take you down to the track bed and we'll crack on. So this is that very same bridge we've just been stood on. It is fenced off as you'd expect if there is some electrical components down there they don't want you going up there and that is the infilled track bed back towards north walsham it looks in relatively good condition doesn't it not too bad oh it's still got the old telegraph hooks up there look see them center of shot Let's try and get you another angle there you go that's really good isn't it a little bit of history right there right onto the track bed i'll see you further down so today we're doing part two of a walk that I began last year when I walked from East Runton, Cromer, over towards Trimmingham. Now this time I'm going to go in the opposite direction again to meet up at Trimmingham where I left off last time. So our Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway is that blue line curving around on the right hand side. And you can also see the active line off towards Cromer coming from Norwich that's that green line just there going from top to bottom if I zoom in somewhat then we can see a little bit closer of where we are so North Walsham is our start point then we'll be off towards Napton we'll bypass Munsley we've got to do a few little bits of detour before hopefully ending up at that gorgeous free arch bridge near Trimmingham so we've got ourselves an old concrete mile post there look don't know what that means or if there was something attached to that if anybody knows what that would have been i'm so used to seeing the ones in nottinghamshire and derbyshire with a thin concrete post and a yellow painted section on top often made of concrete metal or old bits of discarded rail lovely and deep cutting this is this is known as the paston way this section and it's really really nice look at this nice and deep tree lined and there's that bridge in the distance we've just been on. Now this to me looks like it's going to be a former bridge because we're going down lots of this track. And yeah, it did. There was once a bridge here. Look, you can see the abutments on both sides. Let's get a closer look so this is little london road and imagine there was probably a nice little archway going over there at one time so the two abutments still very very 
complete and present, aren't they? And they've obviously just removed the bridge over time when it was no longer needed. So hopefully we'll actually get to see a bridge or two on this former railway route. Not at a loss like that one is. Let's get back up to the track bed. And there is the other side of that bridge. So it would have come storming across here. I've just come up there and that is our route going forward. So this bridge is very much intact, look, and you can see that quaint little archway as I pan the camera around as I'm stood on the wall of the railway. And there's the side wall abutments and blue brick coping stones. Can't actually see any way down there. Let's have a look the other side. I mean, it's just farm access, I suppose. I'm guessing it's definitely not a footpath. Although looking at it, it looks like it's been trodden on, doesn't it? But I can't see a way down there from up here though. It's very, very overgrown. Try and get the, there's the arch look. Very, very narrow. Right, let's push on. I think I can see some kind of obstruction on the track bed. So let's see what that is. So this is where it crosses the North Walsham and Dillon Canal. That opened in 1826 and carried commercial traffic until 1934. Absolutely unsure. If that was a I mean, it looks a bit low down, doesn't it? There is a path around and it'll take us down to the canal, but on maps it shows the path goes straight over. So, what has gone off here? And it all becomes clear doesn't it so i don't know what that bridge is for because it looks too low in places at the top to be a pedestrian bridge if it ever was but again you can see the abutments for the former bridge which has been taken away and that's where i was just stood on the other side and this is the north Walsham and dillon canal almost a hundred years since it had any revenue earning service i think this is one that for a couple of years I've been plotting on coming and walking and it goes to the river Ant. Nothing to do with me or the insect but it runs for about eight, eight and a half miles in that direction towards the river Ant so I'll be back for this one. But for now, let's find our way back up to our track bed. Right, back up on the track bed. And there is that bridge crossing the North Horsham and Dillon Canal. So I'm going to push on now. The canal is going to be done another day. I think around about eight and a half miles is just enough for a nice day's walk. See if we can make a nice video out of that. Got a nice steady embankment on both sides. It's not very high at all. Probably give you a bit of an example of what it is like. If I just trot down here, and then turn around and there it is look so it's about six or seven feet high and it's pretty much the same on the opposite side going down into that farmland canal is just in sight but it's going to turn away and we'll lose it for good
So about halfway now towards Paston and Napson Station, and that opened back in 1898. It lasted till October 1964 for passengers, and a little while longer to freight, but only December 1964. I don't know if there's any remains of this station, but we'll soon find out. So that on this side is known locally as Pigney's Wood and further down we've got Napton Cutting so I'm hoping it's nice deep and tree lined like some of them can be like the one at the very beginning plenty of birds song all around different species you can hear listen who knows what that is comment below it's beautiful down here it really is could have come over another bridge just here it's an old concrete mark post there, some kind, probably to do with gas or electrical cables. There's the bridge lot, it's another one that's been replaced. So it's still got its blue brick walls and the abutments lot. But the actual top of the bridge is gone, just as the others have as well. There's the other side lot, a little bit missing just there. Now we do lose the path, the track bed, further up here as we get to Napton. I don't know if we'll actually get anywhere near the station. Old bit of uh, boundary fence in there. Look. But looking at maps, it doesn't look like we lose it for long. We should be able to pick it up again after a bit of a diversion around. So I don't want to lose much. I know as I get towards the Munsley Trimmingham end, we do lose some and there are a couple of diversions I need to do that hopefully going forward, it will be mostly walkable track bed. You also see on my right hand side the embankment is pretty much the same as it was. But on the other side it's doubled, maybe even tripled. Quite a lot of squirrels razzing around as well. That remains of an old sleeper. I think it is isn't it? It's facing the opposite way to the track bed look. But this used to be some sort of crossing by lots of it. There's a concrete post there with a hinge on it. This side's obviously got a newer gate on it. So that's some kind of old crossing. And we are going into that cutting now, the Napton cutting, and it looks very lush and green. Not only have I found one, I found two really good things to look at, two historical things. You've just seen it in the previous shot, we've got an old brick plate layer, so it looks like someone was living in there at one point. So you can see where the window was, a bit on the floor we've lost, there's the old fireplace just there look. And if I take you around here, there is the chimney, that's really good isn't it? Turn you around. We've got a bridge to go under and I'm going to take you there now. So that bridge appears to be a narrow road and it joins Hall Lane over there and Munsley Road on that side. There was some dogs barking when I was stood under there so I didn't do the talking there. But that's a really fine example and it looks like it is in really good nick. A lot better than the one back down at North Walsham. I think we've got about another five minutes left on this track bed. I'm going to stop for some lunch because I found a bench and now I'll have a look see what we have to do next.
So that's lunch over, time to push on towards Napton. As I said previously, we are going to lose the track bed. I'll show you what it's like going forward. So I'll do my best to put the drone up to follow the route in some fashion until we pick up the track bed again further down. So at the top of here is Hall Lane. You can see the track bed has been infilled. The bridge has long gone. But it looks like we can continue the journey along the former track bed. And there is that sign there, look. I wasn't expecting this. The track bed was on the left. So how long this follows for, I don't know. But I'll push along and try and find out. Well, certainly seems like someone's using the uh, track bed to their advantage. Looking by these uh, ferns, someone's got a really long garden. Look how far I've walked already. So flat and open, isn't it? Let's keep going. this happened so I've just come all the way along there track bed again is still a very very long garden look station wasn't far from here I'm wondering if that was just over there let's see where this path goes if us go through this mound of soil and weed so this clearly used to be some kind of overbridge I'm not going to go far because it is a farmer's field but I just want to be able to show you the incline and the old concrete boundary fence post just there look I put the camera down you can see it goes up so there was and it's probably infilled now a bridge there and the track bed is just there look and it carries on that line of hedgerow there's just there and the bridge is still there brilliant it's not infilled I've come out of the field over there the track bed and the bridge is over there about a couple hundred meters weirdly I've got onto this footpath which it looks like a railway cutting. It's got a little embankment either side looking. It just it must just be an old horse track from back in the day. Oh, you see it from behind, look. There's no trace of anything on rail maps about this being any kind of railway, tramway, industrial narrow gauge or anything like that. And we are about to pick up the track bed again. See the telegraph wires and the poles? It's pretty much where that is. I think we're going to intercept it. I'm still on this path. Heading towards Napton and Paston Green is just over there. At the point where we do intercept the track bed, hopefully down here should be the site of the former railway station that closed to passengers in October 1964 and freight and goods in December 1964. I think I might see a station building just through the trees. So the old station building is just through there. I'm not going to show much of it. I'll try and find some old photographs to add to the film. But we are going to go back to the former track bed. It looks like it's an old infilled bridge. So there's the roof of what would have been the station. And there is a bridge lot. This would have been the old station bridge down there. Oh, we've got a platform. Isn't that amazing? There's an old platform edge just down there. That is absolutely unbelievable. If I pan the camera down, you can see the other side of the bridge look. Around that side and down there. If I owned that station house, I'd be turning this into some sort of garden. That's brilliant, isn't it?
the other side completely overgrown with trees, bushes and ivy and you can just scarcely make out the station building through there I'm going to head on into Napton now so I need to make another diversion hopefully only a short one before we can pick up some track bed remains yet again on the approach to Munsley so station building dead in shot and then the track bed goes on an embankment which is an extended garden and heads over that way and it curves around and then around about half a mile away over there that will take us to Munsley where there was also a station and onto that and beyond would be Trimmingham where we're hopefully going to meet up with that bridge that we finished at last time so this is Paston Road and just look at this the two properties either side have got a nice railway bridge either side of the gardens we've still got the uh, bridge number just there look RNW2351 look at the curved brick formation going from one side to the other isn't this wonderful and there it is from the opposite side I didn't expect to find that track bed shooting off towards Munsley about half a mile in that direction that's great isn't it I like how they've left this because it could have easily been took away like all the others and it is private property so not going up there and if you do visit this or stumble across it let's respect that too and stay on the road and look at it from down here Now I'm back on the street look and curiously it also says low bridge for here so that's the street back up to the village it's getting confusing all these streets the road we've just been up is just to the left there but there is look there's another bridge coming up I can see it in the very distance So a much bigger bridge this time around the other one see the telegraph poles that is just there and that road that's how close they are together just there that's all it is track bed going off in that direction some kind of substations just through there so at this point i've got to look at the maps again and see which way i'm heading if to proceed further up there and follow the footpath or go back up into the village of napton and follow the road towards munsley right now the heavens are opened and it's actually quite nice because I was getting quite warm. Right, time for another diversion. So the Napton Bridge is there, the Street Bridge is there, the one we just walked under and along there is the embankment of the track bed heading off towards Munsley. I've got a gulp here, take a left just beyond those trees and then follow a road over where I should again intercept the railway. So nothing to show you until I get down there.
I've just come through Monsley, I've come up Station Road, but the station wasn't on Station Road. It was up Links Road, the track bed is here, and the bridge was just here. The station was just down there, and it had three platforms. And it closed in 1964 to passengers in October and December to goods traffic, and it opened in 1898. In the distance, you can see the sea right in centre of shot. And you can see it's all been built on. There's no trace of the line or the station. Now that track bed is here, look. Can't get on it. So I'm going to have to divert around. There's a road down there, so I'm going to go back to that. But if I take you back up here where I was just stood at this gate, you can see the perfect alignment of the curve of the track bed. Going around there, look. Heading off towards Trimmingham. So I need to divert around there and hopefully pick it up again. Because I seem to remember last time I was at Trimmingham and I finished at that three arch bridge. You look like you could walk along towards Munsley. So I want to get onto that and hopefully end up where I finished last time. So I come off the road where I just was, come up here, this is a private road that you're allowed to come up at this access for pedestrians. Track bed is that line of bushes through there. Came across here, and I think it ran right alongside this track. And then continued on roughly where those trees are somewhere in front. And then that should be the section which should take us towards Trimmingham. Now from maps it looks like I might be able to walk on some of it. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a snoop around. There we go. There's some evidence there, look. Blue brick wall. Railway brick, isn't it, that? Put the coping stone on top. Sunday's so attempt at trying to intercept this form of track bed. So, about a mile out of Bunsley now, and I've come along Cromer Road. That turns into Bunsley Road as you get towards Cromer. You turn left down Windmill Road because this seems to be the next point where the old track bed intercepted a road that I can come down and whether I can continue walking to Trimmingham, which is only about what, a quarter of a mile, half a mile away. It'd be nice just to get back on that track bed one last time. Now to do indeed continue down Windmill Road, if I stop and point over there, you can see that line lot. That is the embankment of the track bed towards Trimmingham, not far up there where we finished last time. And in front on the horizon of the road, you can still see the line just there going back towards Monsley and North Walsham. There it is. We've got the road over bridge, Windmill Road. And I shall turn your left and point you towards Monsley. There it is, look. That's just overgrown and it's filled in as well, look. Look at that. I've used since 1964. I'll take you onto the opposite side. And again, it is filled in lot and overgrown to hell. We aren't walking down there today. And what's annoying is up there, there is in fact an old bridge. And I can show you it on Google Maps, but I'm not gonna be able to get up there. And it really is a shame. Got myself back up onto the track bed for this final part so windmill road behind me and i'm hoping this will take me all the way to that triple arch brick bridge we finished at near trimmingham look at the view quite high up just here look i've seen quite a few deer hares and pheasants running around in the last hour or two 
the sea is just out of sight over that horizon just there. Not very much like a track bed though, is it? You could tell it was by the shape and the width, but it's very grassy. Let's push on and hopefully do that last couple of hundred meters and get to the bridge where we finished last time. We go back where we finished last time when we did the East Runton Cromer to Trimmingham part of the line. Now we've done it from the opposite end, North Walsham back to Trimmingham via Munsley. Not that we saw a lot at Munsley. So here it is. Look, there's that triple arch bridge. It's really, really nice. I like this. I'll take you some footage down below because if you didn't see the first part, you'd never seen this before. And if you did see the first part, then you'd like to see it again, wouldn't you? So here it is from the top. You should have seen some pretty good drone footage. And I'm going to take you down to the bottom now. We will finish up. And before I do go down, just so you know what happens here, the track bed is still here for around about another 50 meters or so. You might have seen it on the drone. There's a line of trees and it disappears. And it's just been blended and landscaped into the soil. Watch part one and you'll see it coming from the other end. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video carefully get myself down so there's the first arch look looks in good nick doesn't it yeah that's really nice now i'm gonna try and negotiate this bit without tripping over those twigs branches there it is from the bottom i get you onto the road and there you go that's what it looks like Brilliant, isn't it? Right. Do hope you enjoy this video. I'll be back in Norfolk again soon to do some more stuff. This is just a fleeting visit to finish this off and see family as well. So please, any suggestions around this area? Because I will be back. Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, Peak District. Please like, subscribe and comment below. From Norfolk, Trimmingham and the railway from North Walsham to East Runton. See you in the next one. Bye bye.